Hi everyone, thank you for coming to, to this ceremony today. Um, I am Julia, the mayor, and today we gather here to celebrate the raising of the Pride flag in honor of Pride Month. This ceremony represents a power symbol of unity, acceptance and love. It is time to recognize and embrace the LGBTQ community achievement, struggle and resilience. So, I would like to introduce Chris, he is a member of this community. Hi, my name is uh, Christopher Paghetto. Um, he, him, his. I uh, am indigenous from Wisconsin and two spirit, and also uh, have immigrant roots from Mexico, from San Luis Potosí, Mexico. Um, so, good afternoon, everyone, on this uh, event. And uh, our, our, the weather is cooperating with us, and we're celebrating that way too. But I just wanted to give a few words. Um, thank you, Mayor Arata Frata, City Council, and the City of Fitchburg. The Stonewall in riots that were the catalyst for the global pride movement for the LGBTQIA2 Spirit Plus liberation and justice happened 54 years ago this month, June 1969. I was born in December 1974. I was I, um, just five years prior to my birth. It was illegal to be openly queer. The police of New York City were charged with upholding and enforcing morality and ethical laws that uh, prompted their raiding of the Stonewall Inn where many queer, trans, non-binary, and les lesbians went to find common space, acceptance, fellowships, community, and relative safety to be their true authentic selves. That time of morality and ethics laws that allowed police to raid the Stonewall Inn no longer feels so foreign or alien as many of our conservative state legislators and municipal governments consider reinstating or even going further with the laws of 1969. Laws banning trans youth from sports, banning access to trans health care, book bans, laws making drag performances illegal. It seems every week there's a new product or corporate entity that is under fire for their allyship to our community. Disney, Target, Bud Light. It will be a losing battle. A recent report by GLAD, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, found in their ninth annual accelerating acceptance study that 84% of non-LGBTQ plus Americans support equal rights for a queer community, while 70% agree companies should publicly support the community. The report continued, and I quote, there is also universal agreement that schools should be safe and accepting places for all youth and children should be taught to appreciate and accept people as they are. The report reveals that 91% of straight Americans believe that LGBTQ plus people should have the freedom to live their life free from discrimination, while 96% say, uh, say schools should be safe and accepting places. GLAD also said uh, the study uh, directly correlates how the ep epidemic of anti-LGBTQ legislation and online hate leads to higher levels of real world harm for LGBTQ people. The arc of our freedom and liberation is long and intimately interwoven. The conservative push against LGBTQIA two-spirit plus liberation and equity is not limited to just our queer existence. It includes abortion and reproductive access, banning the teaching of black and indigenous history, teaching about racial history of our country, diversity, equity, inclusion programs at universities. Our collective queer, black, and indigenous liberation and freedoms are interconnected, and we cannot move forward without recognizing, without the recognition that, our, that we are stronger together and need to fight for our collective liberation. The continued push for queer liberation and equity must also be unapolog unapologetically anti-racist. We must also push for economic, housing, and racial and environmental justice. The report from GLAD noted that the U.S. is at a critical junction in the terms of LGBTQ plus acceptance and safety. Allyship must turn to action. Allyship is not easy, but when values of diversity, equity, and inclusion are tested, we must defend them unequivocally. The report from GLAD is a promising and bright light in what can seem like an overwhelming daily inundation of new conservative attacks on our existence. Last week, Governor Evers and the community members and community members raised the pride flag above our state's capital.
where was I? <laughs> the Dane County Board of Supervisors declared the, uh, the county a sanctuary for transgender and non-binary individuals. And as the governor before us and the county before us, today we plant our flag to say the city of Fitchburg is a welcoming place for all LGBTQIA plus people to be celebrated and recognized. You are loved, you are needed, and you belong. Let this flag be a beacon of light. Together we can continue to lead with love and we will win. Happy Pride Month and Juneteenth. Thank you very much. And now um, a member of our council um, has also some words to say. So, Bill. I got to follow that. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm Bill Jetzer. I'm the newest alder here in Fitchburg. And I just had a few things to say. I'm, I'm honored to be here today as Fitchburg uh, declares its its support for LGBTQ plus people. Uh, as a parent of a trans son, I am keenly aware that many communities are not supportive of LGBTQ plus people. Um, when our son came out, he was lucky enough to be part of a family that gave him love and support, part and part of a friend group who gave him love and support, part of a church who gave him love and support, his high school faculty gave him support. The, the wider Fitchburg community gave him support. I'm just proud to be part of a community that allows everyone the right to live and love fully as their true authentic selves. Thank you, Fitchburg. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Okay, so now uh, we are going to raise the flag. So that was the yep. idea. So, what is next? Okay, thank you very much for coming. I appreciate all of you, staff from every department, so thank you. Um, as, I, you know, Chris and Bill mentioned, uh, we are an inclusive community. Uh, Fitchwood is a welcoming community, so everyone is welcome. It doesn't matter who you love. So, um, this is the value that we need to follow. So, I am very proud that this is the city that we are becoming, and we are a welcoming community to everyone. So thank you for being here today.